give you guys a little heads up on why people can't just go dig their cars out and drive um, that's a car if you look at the side right there you can see a window uh, that might be another one right there I think that's one right there can't really tell this is my Jeep and I was lucky enough to find an already digged out spot the car used to be there that guy after he got dug out couldn't drive out Somebody tried to pull him out, broke his brake line, and he didn't discover that until he was down the road. So he wound up stuck down that road with no brakes. And here's a, another car. Um, and up there is where our neighbors live, and they've got a pregnant, a pregnant wife and husband there. Um, they've been doing what they can. To get by and here we are on day 12 let me just show you like what their situation looks like it was their truck with the broken brake line so after all that and hiking back still haven't finished digging out their other car and uh that's their trench they've dug for walking up because people have been able to get groceries to them right out here because this is one of the lucky houses this road is drivable with a four-wheel drive as you can see from the, the little jeep that's sitting here I'm like an idiot i forgot to roll the window down last night and so now i got snow inside of it but this can make it this is probably the ideal vehicle here because you wind up with a combination of roads like this one and lots of lots of tight turns so you need a small vehicle and Snowmobiles and snow cats, man, they're limited because if you need to get clear across town, well, it's just so slow. You know, this thing, when the weather's good, I can unchain it and run around doing easy missions where I don't even really need all that. So I can convert it back into a snow machine in about 15 minutes by throwing the chains back on. I'm only using the fronts now because just I'm not needing all four. Um, so. This is the situation. People stuck in many, many houses with roads in way worse condition than this, where even the Jeep with four wheel chains on it can't traverse some of these roads. Because to go down the road in some places would be essentially as challenging as for me to just continue driving forward here and go that way. Like that would be an equivalent challenge to what the condition of many of the roads out here are. And even my Jeep, I got it stuck trying to do something like that. And so, um, and that was with, yeah, I mean, it's just, I think people are underestimating how uh, how challenging it is. And they think they can just come up here with a four-wheel drive and go take care of everybody. You can definitely help, but you can't take care of everybody. And uh, they're not letting volunteers up, but if they are letting EMTs up, volunteers. So that's that's the ticket. Oh, I got a lot of snow to clean out of this thing, so I better get off the video and get back to work.